welcome to another lab video. Uh, today we are going to be doing our transpiration lab. Remember transpiration is the process in which evaporation occurs through the leaves of a plant. So we are going to do that today with some celery. So we have celery and we're going to want to keep the leaves on top of the celery. So I'm going to carefully or as carefully as I can, take a stalk or so out. And I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut it. I want the leaves, but I don't want it to be too big, so I'm gonna cut it to be about that length. This part I can obviously save and uh, use and eat. Um, I don't have to throw it out. So I'm going to keep the rest over here. I'll need one more set with some leaves. Um, and I want to keep as much of the leaves if, as possible here. So what we're going to do next is we are going to take um, I need to get my uh, scale in just a minute but we are going to take some red food coloring and I'm going to dye the water that I have here um, and we're dyeing the water so that it can be more easily seen uh, as it transpires and travels through the uh, celery stalk. I decided to take a craft stick so I can continue to stir uh, the water and make sure that the food dye has gone all the way through my water. I need 200 milliliters. I have more than that here, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little bit more than not enough. I also have some rubber bands which weren't on our materials list, but we'll need them to seal our materials up. So I'm going to use this as my plastic cup. And I have my scale, my digital scale. And when I turn it on, I want to make sure that it reads with K with a G, which it does. The numbers are going to go crazy until it's sitting down, but it is going to measure in grams. And I'm going to make sure that it is recalibrated so it's reading at 0, 0.0 grams. I'm going to take the cup and my plastic bag that I'm going to use, and I'm going to put the plastic bag into the cup just by itself and I'm going to take the mass of that uh, situation. So I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to put it on my scale and then I'm going to record the mass which for me right now is 35.9. So I'm going to write that down 35.9. I'm going to take it off of the scale make sure that my scale goes back to zero and then what I'm going to do is add 100 milliliters of the red water into the bag. So I'm going to take a little plastic cup. I have about 400 here. So when my water goes to 300, I know that I have gone 100 milliliters. Now this is about 50 right now. So I'm going to pour the 50 milliliters in to my bag. I'm going to pour another 50. A little too much there. It's good. And then once I have that here, I'm going to measure this, the bag, the cup, and the water. And this got us to 156.9. So that means I probably put a little bit more than 100 milliliters in here, but it was close enough. I'm going to take it off my scale. And then I'm going to take the celery stalk that I have with my leaves, and I'm going to put it into my bag so that the end of it, not the leaves, but that the end of it is submerged. Okay, submerged, completely covered. And I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to seal the bag. 
Now this bag is big enough that I can Ziploc it tight and shut, but if I couldn't, I would use the rubber band. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to take the mass of this just to see how much the celery weighs. So with the celery was 180.9. And now I can do some math. My chart is going to ask me for the initial water only. So that's going to be my cup, bag, and water, not the celery, which was 156.9. And I'm going to be subtracting 35.9 from it. So I'll use a calculator and do that mathematical equation. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this container and I'm going to put it in a warm location. And then I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. And then I'm going to take the mass again of what it was like with and without the celery of the and with the water and see how much has actually gone through and evaporated through the celery stalk. So this is going to be my warm water location. I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to make another one for my cold water location. When I do that, I'm going to want to make sure that um, I get as much of the same amount of milliliters of water as possible. So once again, I'm going to check the mass of the bag and the cup. Same thing, 35.9, 36, somewhere in there. It's close enough. I'm going to take my celery and I'm going to cut. This one's a nice leafy part of the stalk. And I'm going to pour 100 milliliters of my red water into my cup. I'm curious to see if I actually added 100, so I'm going to check. No, it wasn't quite 100. I didn't think so. I'm going to keep measuring until I get exactly 100, and that's good enough. And then I'm going to record my data. This time it was 140.2. And I'm going to put the stalk in and once again seal it up. So being careful with my bag and the leaves, seal up the bag of the celery stalk. So I had 36 and 140.9. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it in a cool location. My cool location is actually right here behind me in my lovely cabinet nice and cool and dark. So my cool water one is going to sit right there. And I am not going to open this cabinet for 24 hours. It's going to stay nice and cool in there. And my other container is going to go over on my windowsill so that it can be nice and warm with the sun and the heater on it. After 24 hours, I'm going to take both containers out and measure them again and then I'll be able to compare and see exactly how much water transpired and whether or not temperature makes a difference in this plant's uh, transpiration. Do we get more water that transpires in a warm area or do we get less? What about the cold areas? Do we get more or less? So take a few minutes, make sure you have everything written down for your lab report, make sure that you collect your data accurately and that you get 100 milliliters of water in both containers. So we're keeping that information the exact same, okay? Have fun.